Hey, this is Stepan with Claire Online Video, and welcome to this short tutorial on using Adobe Stock with Premiere Pro CC 2015. Adobe Stock was recently released in the 2015 update to the Adobe Creative Suite. In a nutshell, it's a massive high resolution stock photo, illustration, and vector library that allows for easy integration with Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, and other Adobe programs. Let's take a few minutes to see how this can work with Adobe Premiere Pro in our video projects. Starting with Premiere Open, I've created a basic type title for this tutorial. It's already placed on the timeline, and now I'd like to add a nice image as a background for this. You can access the Adobe Stock Library by navigating to Window in the menu and then selecting the Libraries option. In the Libraries panel, you can access the Adobe Stock website by selecting the Stock icon near the bottom. This will launch the Adobe Stock Library in your web browser. Here you will want to make sure that you are signed in with your Adobe credentials. Now you can type in whatever kind of image you are looking for. I'm going to search for some apples to add as a background for the type I created back in Premiere. I'll select an image from the results and then choose the Buy License and Save to Desktop option. If you're doing this for the very first time, then Adobe will ask you if you'd like to save this to a specific library followed by sending you to a payment options page. From there, you'll be able to see the different plans that are available to you as a Creative Cloud user, and then Adobe will ask you to verify your payment method, which by default is the same payment method you use with your other Adobe purchases. Finally, you'll see a pop-up window to download your image. Back in Premiere, you will see that the image we downloaded will appear in the My Libraries folder panel. If you're not seeing this, then you will need to ensure that you have file syncing enabled in your Creative Cloud preferences. If you don't care to turn on file sharing, then you can import the image the old-fashioned way by going to File, Import, or through the Media Browser panel. I like the auto-syncing feature because I can quickly drag the image to my timeline and speed up the process. Now I can adjust the image to my liking and make it work with my type. As you can see, the Adobe Stock feature is another way to keep things easily accessible within your Adobe workflow. The pricing is pretty standard with other photo libraries, but you have the advantage of having everything in one place. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out my other tutorials here on Streaming Media Producer.